Hello everybody, today we're installing a kit, a GTA car kit into a 2005 Mini Cooper and we'll start off with uh, what tools you'll need and uh, you'll need uh, a clip removal tool and uh, you'll need a T35 or a T30 uh, Torx uh, screw screwdriver and also a, T, a T20 Torx screwdriver. So we'll uh, start off with uh, uh, without using any tools the first thing that you have to remove is this uh, panel underneath uh, the steering wheel and it's held on on two, two metal pins and what you do is uh, you kind of get your hand behind uh, right here and and pull it down because we rem removed this one before it's uh, kind of easy to take this one out already but first time it's gonna be a little trick here and I'm gonna, so as you can see like these two metal pins right here is that will hold this panel what you can do is kind of just put it down and leave it like that. And uh, now we're gonna take our T30 or T35. There's two bolts on the side here. They're different size. On this side they're bigger, on this side they're smaller. And the owner of this car already took out the cup holder. And actually there's one uh, bolt missing already. So if you have a stock Mini Cooper you would have a cup holder here but the same procedure you have to remove those two bolts and the, you can remove the cup holder so we're gonna take our T30 or T35 uh, Torx uh, screwdriver and remove these two bolts on the side just like that and what what this gives you is that you can Take this uh, panel and kind of pull it down and to the side, and that's what's uh, gonna like that. And that's what's gonna let you to pull out this radio. And so on this side, there's a glove box in the way, and uh, we're gonna take our smaller sized uh, uh, Torx. And as you can see, this bolt is already missing, so we just gotta do the top one. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Just like that. And also same thing, you kind of pull this panel down and after you pull it down you can pull it to the side and that's it. And as you can see what that did is uh, it, it gave you access to four of these four bolts and uh, they're also T uh, T20 Torx. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these uh, four bolts now. So once uh, when you remove the four four bolts, uh, all you can just simply do is take it on the side, and the radio is free to come out, and there's nothing else holding it. And uh, what other th one other thing you can do is you can uh, in the back here you can unscrew this. Uh, plastic uh, nut in order to get uh, more wire it's, it's going to be handy when you plug in the kit and uh, as you can see in the back now we have to disconnect this uh, connector right here and uh, from the radio and how you do it is that you press this little pin and uh, it will let you do this and once you do that this it just disconnects from the radio and uh, as you can see here the the radio uses uh, flat pins and uh, because this is a newer version of a uh, Mini Cooper if you have an older version you need a, a round pin uh, kit and uh, make sure you choose the correct one for your car and uh, in this car we already put the kit in the, in the back and this is what we're gonna do. As you can see, um, this is the flat pin kit that uh, this car will use. But uh, 
what I, the round pin that I'm talking about is this one as you can see it's the basically the same kit but it has round pins so make sure you choose the correct one for your car and uh, so what you do is you take I can show you so everybody understands so this is the kit uh, you have a module you have one k one on one side you have the cable coming out with the flat pins on the other side we because we already ran this cable I'll still show you how to run it but uh, this is the cable for the iPod it's just uh, it's coming from the module so and it's already run behind the it's been run behind the radio and there's also an auxiliary cable so that's what you're gonna get in your kit and uh, there's three cables and a module so we're just, just gonna put the module kind of inside and we have our kit and uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take the original harness that we disconnected and uh, we're gonna plug it into this this side of the kit of the female side of the kit and and the male side we're gonna plug in into the radio as you can see uh, before it didn't have this connection but now it does so that's the difference and just like that so basically this is your stock uh, wiring harness for the radio which came with the car and uh, we're splicing not splicing but just connecting uh, this this piece right here you don't have to cut anything it's just plug and play uh, very easy to do and uh, once you do that you can uh, make sure you test it and you need to run the cable for the I'm just gonna put this to the side it's a good uh, in this car it's good to put this uh, put the module behind uh, behind the climate controls and this uh, whole wiring harness it's good to reach your hand behind because there's an opening and you can uh, oh, it's disconnected kind of. make sure it's connected and you reach your hand behind and kind of pull it away to the left side so the radio can go back in fully we're not gonna put it in fully because there's still some wire because we gotta test it first also uh, why I was telling you why you need a clip removal tool is because the underneath uh, this car is very easy to run the iPod wire and the auxiliary wire underneath the radio here and to do that you have to underneath here there's this uh, there's this panel it comes up and as you can see there's these two two little clips which you need to push forward you don't even need this clip remote tool you can do it with your hand and kind of pull it and this panel comes down and they already, it, this panel already has uh, holes so you can just take your uh, wire and from the top you can just run it down and out and there you have it and you have your iPod cable already run and you don't have to even drill any holes and once you do that you have to test the before before putting everything back you have to test the radio so right now we're in the regular FM mode we have our GTA car kit connected and we're gonna go ahead and connect our uh, iPhone iPhone 4 and as you can see it's uh, charging you might get a warning message but just dismiss it uh, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and press our mode button and uh, it's gonna go to a CD first it's gonna go to your regular CD but then if you press it again because it's gonna go into the CDC mode basically CD changer mode and in this uh, right now we're in disk disk one of the our digital CD changer basically that's what uh, GTA car kit uh, th uh, triggers your radio to think that uh, the iPhone is your CD changer so we're in disk one and this uh, in disk one it's uh, basically your 
iPod is uh, fully open and you can go by playlist or you can choose the song, which, whichever song. You can choose a song and shuffle all the songs you have on your iPod and you can uh, yeah, and you can st st still control it from the you can control it from both and for example I'm gonna switch the songs and uh, I'm switching from the original radio and you can also switch from the steering wheel controls you can con control both volume and songs but what the other neat feature which uh, we have with our GTA car kit is that you can uh, listen to your music by playlists. Uh, unfortunately this car only supports uh, five playlists because you have six, six discs here. And first one is our hybrid mode which has, uh, I just showed you. But if you go to disc two and disc three or disc four. So basically disc two is your first playlist. Disc three is your second playlist and this four is your third playlist and so on and in uh, playlist mode the uh, iPod is locked but the uh, iPhone is still unlocked you can you can call somebody it's just gonna fade away on music and you, if you come back to the iPod it's locked and uh, in this mode it's not gonna say manual anymore on the radio it's gonna say it's gonna tell you the song name it only shows the song names when you're in the playlist mode and uh, you can switch the songs from here as you can see CDC4 so it's third playlist track 2 and uh, you can even use the random button which is uh, sh you can shuffle your songs from the ra from the original car radio that song was not English so that's why the name wasn't there as you can see I'm switching the next song but it's shuffling the songs and uh, as you can see it's showing you the name and uh, if you go to disc 6 it's going to be your fifth playlist and so on and uh, if you disconnect the iPod it's going to say CDC4 track 7 which is fine and then it's going to say auxiliary in so when the iPod is not connected you can come to this mode and it's just going to say auxiliary in and you can plug in your iPod or you can plug in your any other MP3 player, or you can plug in a BlackBerry and something, some other device which you list, use to listen to your music. And if you just want to go back to FM, you just press the FM button. And uh, once you make sure that everything works properly, make sure once you plug in the uh, the the GTA car kit that you reset, the, you turn off the car and wait at least a minute for the module to res reset itself in or it's gonna uh, it's not gonna work properly uh, and make sure it resets itself and it should be working just as we showed you and uh, after that you can just put everything together and, and uh, start enjoying your GTA car kit and thanks for watching hope to see you next time